Today we're going to cover setting up OneDrive, especially from like a, a sync app help and doing, you know, known folders, folder backup, whatever term you want to use. So you can see here I'm inside of the M365 Apps Admin Center, and I noticed that I don't really have where I want to be on from a folder backup perspective. And I went to Devices, and I noticed I only had 16 in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set this up and build it out inside of Intune. So what you do is you go into Setup, and I'm going to grab my Tenant Association key. And now I'm going to go back into Intune, and I'm going to build my policy. So you see here, I'm going to click Windows 10 and later, Settings Catalog, call this OneDrive Policy. And remember what a OneDrive Policy, it's all completely subjective based on what you really want to do. But I think, you know, trying to meet some of the requirements is really important. So I'm going to click OneDrive, and you can see there's a ton of different settings in here. So the thing specific to what I'm talking about is syncing the admin reports, enabling sync health reporting. So I enable these, and I'm going to plug in that tenant key I just selected. And now if we also talk about the known, fo the known folder situation, let's handle that one too. And I'm just finding the right one. Because the weird thing is, there's actually a few of them. Okay. This is the one I'm looking for here. Silently move Windows known folders to OneDrive. That's really up to you. If, you know, you want... I like this one because it has the, the radio buttons or the sliders for both, for all the different folders. I'm not going to show notifications. The other thing I need is the tenant ID key, which I'm going to go grab from Entra. So inside of Entra, I go to Overview. I'm going to grab my tenant ID. I go back in. I pop it in. And then from here, and like I said, I'm just keeping this really simple. There's a lot of different things you can do. Like, you know, you can do your, like, you can do, if you want to do, you can do your update ring, you know, production. And there's like, there's really like 90 different settings in here. So it really kind of comes down to the settings that actually matter to you. And I mean, there's certain things that are best practices, you know, that you might want to do just from like a DLP perspective. Like, for example, you want to prevent people from syncing their personal OneDrive accounts. Good idea. You know, you have that kind of stuff. So from here, I'm just going to go next, next. I go all devices, next. And then I create, and it's just that simple. And we're going to start seeing OneDrive getting healthier and all those files being protected and secured.